I can't wait for this too. As we approach the holiday season, we hope you'll give to our season of hope toy drive. In fact, we've partnered with the Salvation Army to make sure all kids in our community have a present under the tree. My co-anchor Caitlin Canute joins us live from one of those drop off sites. She's at the newest Chick-fil-A restaurant in Shawnee. Caitlin, how's it going out there? Well, hey, Kevin. So what's really cool about this location is it is drive through and walk up only. It's a new concept for Chick-fil-A. So you can come out here. You can check it out for yourself. You might even run into a slugger here, by the way. And slugger, actually, I could use your help. Let's show people what they do. So you come, you order food for yourself, for your family, and you're going to look for one of these bins. Slugger, show them how it's done. Right there. New unused toy into the bin. Easy as pie, slugger makes it look so easy because it is and truly it's about giving and it's helping kids here in our area who might not have many presents under their tree this year. Let me introduce you to the marketing director for Chick-fil-A's here in the area. We have Haley Freeman here. Haley, first, this location is a really cool concept. Yeah. It, does Chick-fil-A have any others around here? Not in the Kansas City area. No. It's the first one in the Kansas City area op opened October 9th, just about a month ago. Awesome. So again, you can come check this out and donate a toy at the same time. And we've worked with you in the past yes. um, and past years. Chick-fil-A has been a wonderful partner. What is it about this toy drive that that inspires you guys to help us out? You know, at Chick-fil-A, we really care about caring for the community, all of our operators and team members. That's really near and dear to their hearts. So this is a really special campaign where we have an opportunity to directly impact the families and the kids living in Kansas City. And we just absolutely love it. Oh, we are so grateful for your help. Firefighters, too, again, as you know from Kevin being out there, uh, we have different locations, firefighter locations where you can drop off toys, too. I have to ask, Chick-fil-A drive through workers are maybe the most efficient fast food order takers I have ever seen in my life. Have, has Santa ever tried to poach any of your workers, considering they're so efficient? You know, I don't know that he has, but okay. he would be wise to because yeah. our team members are the best. <laughs> yes. And they're always so polite, too. Yeah, they, they are. They love to say my pleasure, and they truly mean it. Oh, thank you so much, Haley. So again, we're hoping that you'll participate. If you come out here tonight, you'll see Slugger Royals, by the way, partnering with Chick-fil-A. So a chance for him to be part of the fun, too. So bring that new unused toy. And remember, if donating money is easier, we have an option for that, too. And the Salvation Army will take that money and will buy those toys for you. Again, just a chance to give back this holiday season. Reporting live in Shawnee, I'm Caitlin Canute. Kevin, back to you. I can certainly understand why Santa would want to poach some of them. I just hope the DMV does that as well, Caitlin. All right, thanks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, go ahead and scan the QR code on your screen to get all the info you need to donate. You can find the list of all drop-off locations there. In fact, as Caitlin mentioned, we accept money as well, and all the money will go toward buying more toys for kids in our community. Just text KSHB to 50155. Thank you in advance for making a difference during our season of Hope Toy Drive.